what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i did the vfs game shot here in blender and this is the first part of this tutorial okay now let's get started the first thing to do now is to load in our footage to track them so you can just click on this plus sign go to vfs then select motion tracking then loading your footage okay now you can prefetch to set the cache into the memory okay now i can just go ahead and track this footage by adding tracking markers to this and solve this but i won't do that in this tutorial because i have a blender tutorial on motion tracking and object tracking already so you can check that out so before what i will do now is to import my tracking data from my previous tutorial the project i did so before i do that i would like to change my color space just go to render properties come down to the color management here change the color transform from filmic to standard okay now you can see that the movie clip looks a lot better yes the first thing i would like to do now to set my compositing session properly okay just click on the compositing click on use notes okay now we have a render layer and a compositing okay now we need to input our movie clip just click shift a come to input then select a movie clip put it here now we need a alpha over node to plug this together now press shift a again go to color select alpha over put that here now connect this image input output to the image input of this alpha over here all right like this now we need to set our movie clip inside this just click here and select our movie clip now we are not seeing anything now because we don't have a viewer node enable okay now to do this press shift a go to output then select viewer put this here then connect this image output from this half over to the input of the viewer node okay now we can see our movie clip press v to scale down the image size and press hold v to make it large just like so okay now we have set up our compositing properly now let's go back to the layout okay now the next thing to do now is to import my tracking data from my previous project okay now to do this we need to click on the file here go down and click on import then select Olympic now I'll just go to my directory then drag this into my folder here let's select it then import Olympic that's all now when you play this now you will see that I have a camera and an object I have this object here which represents the track gone that I did okay let me just go to the camera view just go to the camera view click on the camera first then press it to go to the camera view now select the camera here then select background image click on add background then choose movie clip then click here then select here movie clip file let me just close the ID you see that this object is placed correctly on the gun now we play this you see that it's web tracked on the gun so what I will do now is to parent the model of the gun at the DJ this to resize this and parent it to this object okay now you can press s to scale down and place it correctly all right Okay, now what I will do is to parent this, just click shift, then click the object, now press ctrl P. 
thing select object now when you play this you see that this gun is tracked to the same now i can just click on this object that i pair it with and hide it the next thing to do now is to light up this scene and for this i'm using environment lighting so go to shading tab here then select word all right now you can press shift a go to material go to texture then select environment texture now plug this into this background here now we need to load in our environment nice and just click on open then drag this into the workspace then click on open okay now to see this we need to go to the rendered mode okay now you can see this so this is not placed perfectly and to fix this we need object coordinate which you can press ctrl t now you can see the object coordinate here okay then i need to change it from point to vector okay now i can set this okay guys now that we set the hdr environment lighting now we need to come back to layout okay now we need to recreate some part of this place now you can just press shift a to add the plane place it here behind the gun right so okay now we can press r y and 90 to rotate it on the y axis drag it up now press r z to rotate it on the z axis like so all right now drag it back and recreate this part of this room like so right now what i will do now is to track this to the same you know go to motion tracking right here look for something to track something like this is okay for me now just click on enable the search bar then press ctrl and click now you can resize this as you want it then track okay guys now drag this side now we need to pair this track to the mesh here and before we do that we need to set this as empty to the same now click on the reconstruction then select empty to track now we have the track here as empty now go back to layout select the mesh here then select shift and click the empty now press ctrl p to print that when you play this you see that this mesh also move along with the empty and which is what we want here you can see this okay now the next step to do now is to project some part of this image here to the mesh and to do this we need to project the side we really want for this Now click on this, then I will drag it down like so. So I will project this 105 frame. Now press A to select all. Press U, then select project from view. Okay, now we did that. Just go to shading, go back to object. Okay. All right, now what we do now is to press new so add the new shader now we just go to the our file here just click on the movie then select where you save your 
files again check frame 105 then input it as a texture okay click on this and drag it as an image texture then plug this output to the base color here now you can see that this side of the frame was projected to the mesh okay and you can check this out here also so we can use this as a light reference and also for the reflection of the gun okay now we, we put this in a separate layer just press m and create a new layer called reflection okay so i can just put this here now you can hide this for now you don't need it okay now we need to set the transparent of this now click here now come down to to frame now click on transparency now when you go to the rendered now you can see that this is a transparent background okay that's that now when you turn on back the reflection you can see that we still see this and we just need this as a light reference so you just click here click on this press option then come down to layer then set indicator only by doing this this will only render this as a reflection to this object when you look at this side you see that this side is reflect to the gun than this other part as you can see here you can see that it's reflecting so now you can render this and check what we've done so far just click on zero now you can go to a frame where you can render with something like here you just click on render image alright guys now this is rendered and you can see that we have the gun placed on our background so let's check the composite now this is the gun here alright now you can see the gun retract so we place this here all right now you can see that the gun is not represent the environment so we need to improve our light more okay now go back to layout go back to 3d now we need to add a layer a light so click on area lamp drag it here like so now you can scale that more just to fix the gun properly now we can go to the lamp here settings set the what you like 50 then change the color to something yellow just like the yellow okay when you go back to rendered press zero now you can start increasing the light source the power to something like this okay now if you render this now all right guys now you can see that this looks a lot better now okay now the next part i will show you guys how to do the masking and how to hide this gun here this prop how to hide it all okay, right so i will show you how to do all that in the next tutorial so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next part